Well, I didn't want to be making this video. I never thought I would be making this video. Well, thank you, Scott. Thank you for everything. If you haven't heard, if, if if you're watching this, and you haven't heard the news, hold on, let me get my phone. Scott Cawthon has made an announcement that he is retiring from creating more FNAF games. Uh, his official statement. See if I can find it. Uh, he has six kids. He's lived a full life. He's getting his thir mid thirties. It's up there. If you zoom out, it gets blurry. So, if you're able to zoom in and see it, go ahead. You could probably find it on the internet somewhere. Um, it's seven years ago. FNAF was created. Yada yada yada. That's a statement. But he is retiring, and it's, I don't think it's his choice. Now, I'm not going to here to argue anything. I'm not here to say he shouldn't. If he wants to, he wants to. That's, that's all on him. It's his choice. I'm just here to say thank you. Thank you for creating something out of nothing. Thank you for all the time we've put in over these past seven-ish years to sit here, sit at your desk, single man doing a, a single man making a whole career out of a point and click video game. Uh not even just a point and click video game, a browser game. That was originally it looked to be nothing. But it looked honestly when it first came out, I was was it maybe eight, nine, eight, eight, nine, something like that. This video is not going to be edited. Edited. It's going straight up after I record this. But I just want to say thank you, Scott. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for carrying a whole community on your back. I have an ad that popped up on my computer for the McAfee thing. I already have it, though. Um, but thank you, Scott, for everything. I don't know how the FNAF community will carry your legacy, if that is fan games, if that is so on and so forth. Who knows? I'm hoping that... Security, I'm pretty sure Security Breach is going to be released before he retires. It's going to be released. If I, if you act like I'm all groggy and stuff, I literally just woke up 20, 10 minutes ago. It is 8.40 in the morning. I woke up to the news. My friend Jonah, he sent me the news. And you... And, and yeah, so I'm groggy, that's why. Scott, if you're ever watching this, I'm not sure you will. I'm not sure if you ever will find this. Even if you're a fan of Scott, if they're watching this, let's all come together and thank Scott. Hopefully not the last time. Maybe one day he'll come out of retirement and full throw a full game together. But thank you. Scott, you have really not only opened my eyes to games that can just be simple but have so much more to them, you've opened everyone's eyes to that, and it's one of those things where you're like, huh, that's what that's like. I don't know... I still don't know if Security Breach is coming out. It's probably most likely coming out. Uh, there's been no news on that. He's just made that statement, which is in the corner. I'm pretty sure if you just Google it, you'll find. Hold on. Let's see if we can. 
let's see if we can find Scott Cawthon's statement. Let's see if we can find the statement. There it is. Okay. Hold on. Uh, it's not working. Why is it not working? Okay. Well, it's not working. That's good enough. There we go. There we go. Taking on this, this was just the the thing. Uh, so Scott announced, uh, "I have a, I have had a blessing, fulfilling, rich career. Uh, I've been shown great kindness, and I've tried to grow or tried to show great kindness in return. I've tried to make good games. Let's debate that <laughs> into. Uh, I let the debate ensue." I've witnessed the creation of possibility of the, possibly the most creative and talented fan base on the planet, but here in my seventh anniversary of the first game trailer, I realized that I was in my mid thirties when I created the series. Now I'm approaching my mid forties. Uh, I realized that I missed a lot of things, and that I got to focus on focus on before Five Nights at Freddy's became such a success. I miss making games for my kids. I miss doing it for fun. I miss making RPGs, even though I stink at it. That's FNAF World right there. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Uh, although I have to say, I am retiring. Um, does it continue? No, that's pretty much all he took from it. So, call to retiring. I don't know how this is going to turn out for everyone else other than fan base. I'm not sure if that's what the people on Twitter wanted. I'm not here to debate that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Scott, thank you for creating a franchise that many people have fallen in love with. Just because of those cute, murderous, animatronic, plush animals. But thank you. And again, I don't know. I, that's, that's about it. But thank you, Scott.